You're here, you're here, I'm so excited you're here. My name is Lisa, welcome back to my channel and this is the third video in a series I've been doing in my brand new home reno. Come on in to my playroom in the basement. And stay tuned to the end of this video where I'm gonna share with you the things that I wish I could change about this room uh, and the things that I'm most happy about in this space. This room was like, a total dramatic before and after like literally this entire space was a sea of boxes like my kids would make forts with the boxes and it is just so amazing and refreshing to be in it now to not be so cluttered and to feel like it's a space that I can entertain in as well as well as just a space I want to be in I never wanted to be down here before <laughs> and I'm so 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 in love with it now so come on in Everything here really started with the cabinets. And by the way, I will link all the products below if you're curious where they all came from. And um, if you're curious to see what our old house looked like, I will put that in the cards because if you've seen what my old house looked like, you know how important closed cabinetry is to me. <laughs> when you have as many children as I do, having a place where things can just be shut and go away is like really essential for like peace of mind as well as organization and creating children to be organized. So honestly, all this cabinetry makes me so happy. I partnered with Tailored Living on this cabinetry. When I say we had a sea of boxes, it was a sea and the kids just kind of like, no matter what I did, um, nothing could go away neatly and like no matter what I did I could not keep the toys away from the children for some reason and this is where all of our choice toys are when they're behind a door it's like they don't remember they're there I guess or like I think it's just they were visually there so there was always a visual reminder hey I haven't seen that toy in a while or hey da 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 my toddlers would just take the boxes and dump them and it was just constant mess all the time but I think the fact that they're behind the door um you know my older children are responsible enough to like take a basket out put play with the toys and put it away if you'd be interested in a video where i organize this playroom because let me tell you this like it, it needs to be organized still it looks really pretty but the content still needs to be organized let me know because that would really motivate me to organize this space cabinetry definitely is an investment in the budget but it is such a priority to me because again of the peace and the quiet and the beautiful design details that one can put into a space when you have um, cabinets and so my favorite thing about working with tailored living is that they bring everything to you like literally everything this is where we put um like the grown-up books are all back here <laughs> so they bring everything to you they bring all the samples they do all the measuring they come up with the design and work with you on your specific needs exactly what your family needs and they have franchises across the u.s and canada so if you are craving some organization <laughs> and some cabinetry solutions uh definitely check out the link in the description so that they can come to you with everything and make your life so simple and so easy. So let me show you some of the things that we did design wise that I'm really happy about. We went dark on the drawer fronts and then light on the counter and I just love the contrast of the light and the dark. It keeps it feeling very edgy and really um, really what I was going for down here like an edgy but family friendly space and again like drawers are so good for this kind of nonsense. Every drawer right now looks like this. I really need to like get some dividers and do all that stuff um, but then you close the door and it looks like this. Visual clutter is gone. So this is why I'm such a proponent, especially when you have a large family and little kids. Really big deal. And then I pair the cabinetry with these beautiful poles. And if you've been following me for a while, you know how much I love Shane Fox hardware. This hardware, it's just like works of art. This is her newest collection. It's got this beautiful geometric detail. And I'm just obsessed. Like, and she's a fellow mamapreneur who's trying to do her creative thing and start a business. So I really love supporting um, other moms who are following their dreams in that same capacity. And then I took these chairs from my old house and it's perfect because I've got six of them for my six kids and I just gave them like a quick hit of 
um, this champagne mist um, spray paint. Like literally we did it outside ourselves. I wish I would have gone like maybe two or three coats more. I just feel like it's a bit more subtle than I wanted it originally, but I really like it for how it integrates with the other uh, gold brass elements in the space. Another element I love in this space is this ginormous island. It like all six of my kids can be sitting at it at one time. And I just love that they can spread out. They can like be as messy as they want down here. I can have some kids playing Pokemon. I can have some pa kids painting. I have to be super honest with you. Like I am not a fan of paint or anything messy upstairs. I, I just have to be honest. Like. I don't want paint on my beautiful velvet sofas. <laughs> I don't want Play-Doh ground into my uh, woven carpet, but down here, everything is like wipeable. <laughs> it's a laminate floor. All the furnishings are wipeable. Like it's just so convenient. And so I don't really care. So if they get messy down here, I'm really happy. And getting messy is why we put in this faucet. So I partnered with Delta Faucets. If you remember my old house, I had amazing, beautiful faucets in every single bathroom and kitchen in that space. In fact, every time I go to like a restaurant or like a public bathroom that has the faucets I used to have, I often like get a little bit, I'm so sad. I literally, I'm like, I miss my old ones. So I had to have just a little touch in here and I just love the matte black. This is called the Esque because it's um, sort of uh, inspired by a ballet pose in the style of, and you can see what I mean, like how beautifully, like there's a slight little, um, slope here to the design. I love the design of the handle. Um, and it's got this cool technology. Let me show you. It's so my kids think this is the coolest thing. This is called the shield spray. And you pull this down and look at this cool shape it makes. I love it. I love how it's so elegant. And this helps with splatter and with getting the dirt off your dishes, which is so convenient for me. So super fun little element in a play space and I always recommend if you're going to do a playroom of any kind that you include a sink. Um, I did another really fun playroom that I'll link for you in the cards um, that has another beautiful sink in it as well. I'm over here because I'm like obsessed with this so much. So I wanted it to be like moody <laughs> and so I went dark. This is a beautiful black color on the walls that I'll link the color code below. Um, it's a Benjamin Moore color and it is just, I'm obsessed. I think I might have been a little bit more hesitant to go this dark if the space didn't have as much natural light. But you guys, like, it's like, honestly, like, can you see, like, look at this view. Like, my view, it's floor to ceiling windows in a basement. So the amount of natural light kind of just made me feel like I can get away with doing something this dark and I went matte. I really love going matte on a dark color. I just find it like has almost like a velvety texture as opposed to going like with a eggshell or a satin, anything glossy. I just find personally for me, it's really modern and really beautiful. So I wanted something to pop against all these black. These are just really inexpensive picture rails and really inexpensive um, gold frames. And I got my favorite, uh, videographer who's filming this now to um, and he helps me out a lot on um, video as well as images when I do lots of different brand partnerships and sponsorships and so he has so many pictures of my family this one is from a partnership we did with Bugaboo and this one is like my favorite this was from um, my 10th wedding anniversary and if you want to just get a little bit of a glimpse in the things that are important to us as a family. I'd invite you to check out the video of our 10th wedding anniversary. And this one particularly is just, oh, I, it's just my favorite. And I have to be honest, like I'm not good at remembering to print photos. Like I, I have so many photos digitally, so many photos. And I'll be honest, like I don't really know what to do with them. Do you struggle with this too? Do you like print them into books? Do you um, do anything with the photos you take on your phone. If you struggle with this too, let me know in the comments below. But like doing this was such an opportunity to highlight some of my favorite um, images. Hold on. Your mommy's just filming video. So I love you too, Rose. Aww. 
Were you rolling on that? Oh, Rose. That was rolling. Right. Oh. <laughs> this is real life entrepreneurial like mom. <laughs> my kids are upstairs with my nanny. I am downstairs with my videographer. They can hear me and so they're like, why aren't you playing with me? <laughs> I have one, my, my youngest school age child is home from school too, so it's extra, extra people who want mommy. But this is one of the, just as an aside, like I also love this about my job. I love that I get to just create content that's at home. You know, as soon as I'm done filming, I get to go upstairs and snuggle with some babies. So I really, um, I don't know, this is a real passion of mine. I've filmed a bunch of videos on this topic. <laughs> you, can, you can check those out too. But, um, but the whole sort of work-life balance and how you are able to be a present mom as well as pursue your dreams is something that's just so important to me. So anyways, back to photos. <laughs> I really wanted this to be an opportunity for me to um, showcase like my kids. And so let me show you what we did over here. So welcome to our TV area. I ended up putting down here a sofa that used to be in my husband's office because I really wanted the, to keep this whole space very monochromatic and I really like how it worked out. Everything else is cheap and cheerful. And again, I'll put all the details down below, like literally really cheap and cheerful. I basically just took inexpensive gold frames again, the exact same size as over there. And um, I had them just printed at Staples. They were $15 a print and I just love how it's all my kids' unique personalities captured big and large. And what's been super fun has been watching my kids' own reactions to having them up here. My, um, my fourth baby, Rose, she's like, Mommy, I wanna show you. I can name all the people in the photos <laughs> around the TV. And she just goes, James, Leo, Evelyn, John, Rose, Joseph, Mommy, and Daddy. So it's just like a great, like fun feature, I am, I don't know, I honestly am really thrilled um, with how this turned out. And fun tidbit, my kids painted this entire wall behind me. My kids actually painted the majority of this room and I was super hesitant to give a whole bunch of small children, I, my school age children only, so nine, seven, six, and four. But those four kids, I gave them rollers. I said, don't hit the ceiling, don't touch the baseboards. I did all the cutting, but my kids did this room. Is it a perfect paint job? Uh-uh. But did I save a bunch of money? Uh-huh. And did I give my kids a fun experience? <laughs> Like kinda, they went nuts. It was like the coolest job ever for them. And it saved me so much time. So now come on into my husband's home office. So I wanted to give him a space that, you know, he could close the doors, <laughs> uh, which by the way, we put in ourselves. So and when I say ourselves, I mean, I had my wonderful friend, Steve Leonard come over and do it for me. Um, but we basically created the enclosure because it was really important for us, for my husband to have a um, space at home that he could literally close and lock the doors so that he can obviously have phone calls and whatnot. Um, and I just, uh, you know, we kept this very cheap and cheerful. We used the red sofa that used to be in my basement. Um, um, I got the desks all at Ikea and that was really simple. The doors um, I love from a tree and we painted it a, a really gorgeous shade of navy blue. And if you watched the video from two weeks ago on my living room, you can hear all about my <laughs> pickiness when it comes to trim and doors and why I think they're really important elements to think about. I have to sit down because I am seven, no, I'm almost eight months pregnant. So now we're gonna sit down. Um, but I, um, what I wanted to do in here was give my husband and I also, in addition to an office, give us a space where we could kind of like steal away and watch TV. Uh, we also both obviously work in media and so we often are creating content um, and so we want to watch it back um, and when we want to watch it back somewhat more large scale, we can do that in here. I am a big believer in no TVs in like the bedroom and like the public, you know, more conversational main living rooms. What about you? Are you like a non-TV in the bedroom, uh, no TV in the living room, or you do you need the TV on all the time? Let me know in the comments. I'm really curious. In order to create this den experience for me and my husband, I chose to put in an electric fireplace media unit. I partnered with Dimplex on this unit. And I just love how you can literally instantly provide stylish, 
comfortable relaxation through an electric fireplace. I love the advanced technology on the fireplace unit. The flame looks beautiful and ambient, and it's just this cozy little nook of this office, and I love that we can just close the doors and relax. So now I wanna take you to this crazy secret room. I've been calling it the secret room because you'll understand, it's so crazy, this space. <laughs> so when we moved in, this was all drywalled, like completely drywalled over. And when we were walking around the property, which has as much square footage of deck as my old home combined, it's crazy. So we're walking around on the outside decks. I was like, guys, there's a room. It was full of garbage, like, full of garbage and I could see doors and uh, curtains hanging behind drywall. And I was like, oh my gosh, there is a secret room <laughs> behind there. And so we tore down the drywall, we put in um, some casing, the door was still perfectly fine, dirty as all heck, oh my word. Um, but I basically decided to turn it into this little cute potting room, come in. So this space was such a dramatic visual before and after, like, oh my word, because there was so much garbage, like so much garbage. <laughs> and now it's this cute little, I don't know, like planting room. Um, I have no green thumbs, absolutely none. I worked for a summer as the gardener for my church, I'm not entirely sure what my priest was thinking, but let's just say I killed more than lived. <laughs> Bless his heart, he was very sweet. <laughs> to have that much faith in me. Um, but I love that this is just becomes a little quiet area. There's a cozy chair. I can have a cup of coffee surrounded by outside nature as well as all of these plants. We've got a whole bunch of herbs that we can literally use while cooking. So I'm hoping this actually encourages me to slow down. I know this sounds funny, but at first I was like, why don't I just get a bunch of fake plants? It'll be easier. I get the visual without the maintenance. But I actually, I'm kind of hoping this is, encourages me to slow down to every single morning, maybe while I'm saying my morning prayers to literally come down here with the watering can um, and just like peacefully, slowly water the plants. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm really looking for more ways in my life that I can just slow things down, just slow them down. So I'm hoping this becomes um, like mommy's little retreat room. <laughs> I'll keep you posted on how that goes. <laughs> okay guys, so as promised, I wanna share with you. Joseph, do you wanna be in the video with me? Yeah. Come here. So as promised, I wanna share with you the things that I wish I could change about this space and the things that I am the most happy with in this space. Okay, so I really wish I could swap out, hi, <laughs> all the windows and doors in this space because they are very old and so they're not exactly that high performing. So it does get quite hot in here. Although it is the basement, it's actually pretty helpful. It's, it's, it's not that bad, <coughs> but like, I just noticed like little critter crawlers can get in because there's lots of gaps in the window. So I really wish, but it's a rental. So obviously, um, you know, I have to be very pragmatic and just changing the doors and windows um, would be a really big part of my budget and not one that I found as necessary as some of the other changes, some of the other structural changes I chose to make. Same thing with the doors to the solarium that we're kind of using as an uh, exercise room. I wish I could change them to match all the trim. If you watched the video from two weeks ago about my living room, you will hear my whole thing about trim being consistent. It's like a big deal, <laughs> really big deal to me. So it really bothers me that the trim is not consistent in the space entirely. So what I did to combat that was make sure that one side of the room was all the same. So the room, the side of the room that we put in the new Matri doors um, and casing for the doors, I just changed out that baseboard because I really wanted that to match. And then I'm kind of just ignoring the fact that the baseboard over there doesn't match. I actually just painted it black like the walls uh, so that it visually just disappeared. So anyways, those are the things that I wish I could change about the space that I'm not going to. The thing that I'm the most happy about down here, what do you guys, what do you guys like the most about down here? Mm, I don't know. You don't know? No. What, what's your favorite thing in this room? Yeah, what? <laughs> Rosie, do you have a favorite thing in this room? The picture. Oh, that's a good one. I think I'm going to say the same thing. This is the space where it just feels like family fun. And I think the art, the printed photos of my family um, really helped to do that, create that environment of 
um, fond family memories, of play, of celebrating the character of a family. And that's really at the heart of when I'm designing homes, whether it be for myself or other people, to really capture the heart of the people who live there. So anyways, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you'd like more home tour type content from me, let me know in the comments and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss a single video. Thanks you guys so much for spending a little bit of time with me in my home and cheers to designing your beautiful life.